I'm very happy to present this uh, project uh, held by Ongawa in coordination with some other uh, Spanish NGO, with uh, most of its kind of public uh, finance, finance. We are an NGO whose mission is to play te uh, place technology at the service of human development in order to achieve a fair and mutually supportive society. We promote the full realization of human rights to water and sanitation. In fact, much of Ongawa's work is carried out in this sector. It is the, in this context that the initiative that we want to present is developed. In 2011, Ongawa committed to the full integration of the gender perspective on its work in relation with the right to water and sanitation in Nicaragua. Three gender gaps have been diagnosed in rural water management. In order to be addressed, we need a changes in the collective perception of the problem, changes in the empowerment of women, and changes in the enabling environment. So, we started uh, with the School of uh, Women Leaders in Nicaragua. The School of Women Leaders is a formative experience aimed at addressing one of the gaps through the personal and collective empowerment of women. The initiative targets women who hold a position in local water committees with the overall objective of empowering, empowering them through collective reflection on the gender inequalities present in the dynamics of community management of water and sanitation services. Key findings uh, from a human rights-based approach for us is that we understand development problems as violations of human rights whose respect and fulfillment require that several levels of responsibility are met. In this sense, uh, we understand a different way of analyzing root causes of poverty, for example, gender issues. Uh, for this, service provision is not sufficient. It is intended uh, to allow deepening the causes and consequences of gender gaps, sharing conceptual frameworks for explaining and understanding their experiences, to encourage new attitudes favorable to the construction of more equality relations in the committees, to strengthen their leadership capacities and develop skills to foster a more equitable management and to be aware of both the international and the Nicaraguan framework of the human rights to water and sanitation. We use a methodology based on the assumptions of feminist popular education aimed at promoting changes in attitudes which employs curricula focused on community water management. Hence, on one side, reality is analyzed from a gender approach. The starting points are dialogue and collective learning to enhance the role of women leaders as agents of change. And there is individual and collective reflection on the subjective and socially constructed aspects of gender inequality. On the other side, the training also contains elements of capacity building on water regulations, labor relations, and gender policies in Nicaragua. And the approach of all topics begins with the identification of everyday situation, situations in community water management that reflect inequalities and ends with proposals for change for the empowerment of women leaders. It was a multidimensionally um, formative experience. It was uh, quite successful uh, during 11 months and in which 189 women were empowered to influence in political decisions concerning their rights. The communitarian water management committees were legalized and more coordination between the different actors was achieved. The content of the training is articulated in the following uh, contents. 
the gender gap in water culture, the gender gap in the construction and operation of the water system, the gender gap in participation and access to power in community water management, and the capacity building for leadership. After the training, 35% of women were presidents of CAPS. Before then, uh, they were only 22%. After the training, 48% of women were in charge of economic and financing at the CAPS. Before, they were only 46%. The proportion of women participating in general meetings of CAPS grew from 34 to 66%. The comparison is always between uh, 2012 and 2044, so it was two years of, of difference. After the training, Maria feels empowered to repair the water system, whereas before, training, she was not able to. Thelma, in this picture you can see her, is a gender promoter. A gender promoter is in charge of promoting gender issues at the local level. She tries to encourage new attitudes favorable to the construction of more equality relations in the committees and to strengthen their leadership capacities and develop skills to foster a more equitable management and to be aware of both the international and the national uh, regulations concerning the human rights to water and, and sanitation. Here are some of the people who have taken part in the training and this is what they say after the training. I am involved in a water management committee in Isla Juan Venado. At first I thought about the meaning of woman leader. I felt doubt and security. They introduced me in the concept of gender equality. I liked this. We were invited to share what we felt. Through public speaking, we felt so confident. It was a great opportunity for young people and for women. Before, cooperation programs were focused on men and adults, just for them. At the beginning of the training, it was difficult. People thought that this kind of training was for lazy persons, for wasting time, with no objectives. It was great for me. Each training session was a great opportunity to rectify different aspects in my life. I feel better now, more relaxed. The contents were related to the use of water, the domestic roles assigned to women, remaining at home, gender issues, sexuality, Maricela is in charge of the system now. She's in charge of asking for water tariffs, for example. In this slide, we can uh, be aware of um, women. Women are able to improve the safe use of water in the household, which is a very important aspect too. Finally, we recommend you very much to learn about the experience with storytelling. We prepared a video, a small video, in which women who took part of the school will tell the story from their point of view. As I said, this project is a, a, a more and wider initiative in which some other NGOs took part and we uh, have plenty of publications you can uh, analyze to uh, maybe deep in that issue. Thank you very much.